Hello all. In this lecture, I'll discuss with you the system of uh, homogeneous and non-homogeneous linear equation and we'll talk about the consistency means we are going to discuss in what cases we will get solution whether it is a one solution or many solution and what are the condition when there is a no solution. So uh, we will start with the non-homogeneous equation. Here I have considered m equations and n unknowns or you can say n variables x1, x2, xn are the variables over here and uh, this is the right hand side where they are the constants. So always remember a system is known as uh, non-homogeneous if on this side there exists at least one non-zero numbers. If all are zeros it becomes a homogeneous but if some numbers are there or all the numbers are there that is called a non-homogeneous. So number of equations and number of unknown may be equal or may be mismatch. There is no, no compulsion over here. So let's see how we are going to apply the concept of rank over here. So for that, first we have to write this given system into the matrix form. So all the coefficients like here a11, a12 all in front of x1, x2, xn are the coefficients. So first we will jot down the entries of coefficients where it is a matrix x we are writing the all the variables and the right hand side numbers are the constants. So first you, we all know that these are the notations and uh, in this case we are using one more matrix and that is called the augmented matrix. We call it a augmented augmented matrix augmented matrix can be written like that a comma p or it can also be written as a dot dot or you can say slash b these are all the notation so here i have given one single symbol to that augmented matrix means i am writing here a matrix where we are having that one extra column to my a matrix and that becomes the augmented and I have in my discussion here I have given a notation to it so there is no compulsion you can start from this also you can or you can give a symbol over here so this matrix is there now what we are going to do is we are going to use a rank of the matrix the first step is for write a system and find out rank of two matrix one matrix is without constant and another matrix is making one extra column and calling it as a C and we will find out these two rank. So first rank you find of A without constant and then you find a rank of the C matrix which is with constant. And then we will see that what are the various uh, situation we can face. Now there is a one situation when rank of these two matrix are same and there is a situation when rank is not same means answer is different. So what happened? When rank is not same, so there is no solution here and the system is inconsistent. When there is no answer, not consistent system. So we call it an inconsistent. Now in this case, when rank is same, the solution exists that is a clear and the system is consistent. So when no solution, inconsistent. When solution, consistent. Now here we can face a two cases. Number one case is the answer of A and C matrix are same and also equals to the number of unknown or you can say number of the variables. If all these are equal, we call unique solution or you can say a single answer you will get. Single solution or unique solution. And if the rank is same but they are less than N, number of unknowns in the question then you will get an infinite number of solution. So solutions have a two cases, one answer or many answer. And uh, when they are not equal, no answer. So this is called the criteria of checking. And further we can find out the solution by Ackerland form and then we see. So right now my uh, discussion on this lecture would be only to talk about the the condition that when there is a solution when there is a no solution so let's see 
there is one more technique this technique is a rank one where the number of equations might be uh, equal or not equal we can apply this is a very general technique now if you see that we have already discussed one more technique and that is using a determinant or a matrix method adjoint what we need to do is if you are writing a matrix in this form where a is a square matrix now we find out first we check whether it is non single or not if determinant of a is not equals to 0 the system is consistent and it has a unique solution and we can find out the solution by matrix method wherein we multiply a inverse b because here a inverse exists so if a inverse exists it always have a unique solution now the case number 2 is if determinant comes out to be 0 the system has either no solution or the system has infinite number of solutions. This we are uh, discussing on the basis of determinant. So determinant we can apply only in one case when number of equations and number of unknowns are same. Now second criteria is we are going to calculate adjoint A into B. Now if adjoint A into B is not equals to 0, the system has no solution and the system is inconsistent. Now in case if adjoint of A into B is equals to 0, the system is consistent and it has an infinite many solution. So this, uh, this is also one of the criteria to check the consistency and inconsistency of the any system of equation provided the number of unknowns and number of equations are same means we should always get a square matrix so this is the second technique otherwise the previous one is the more general one here whether it is square or it is not square both both are working over here now let's see the another uh, system which is a system of homogeneous equation now when do you say the system of equations are homogeneous right hand side are all zero there should not be any number over here if right hand side means equals to all the variable we write on the left hand side of the equation and all without variable means the constant numbers we write on the right hand side this left and this right and briefly we can write down it equals to ax equals to zero wherein a is the coefficient matrix x is a null matrix like here a is a coefficient matrix over here wherein you write on all the entry of a11 up to a1n and this side you are having am1 and here you are having amn means here also we i am considering a general case where the number of equations and number of variable might be mismatch and here the constants are x1 up to xn and this side we are having a null matrix one important point is homogeneous system is this system is always consistent this is always consistent means always have solution now why because x is equals to 0 is always a solution and we call it a trivial solution now we are interested to know when we have a non-zero solution or you can say infinite many solution so let's see what we need to do is again here I am discussing the concept of rank when I will write down this and I have already shared that this is always having a solution. So what we will do we will find out the rank of A because there is no augmented required reason being the last column is 0. So A matrix rank is only enough to find out the solution. So if this rank of the matrix is matching with if R of A is matching with number of unknown we always have a unique answer unique here in the homogeneous system is known as trivial and uh, each unknown equation equal to 0 so here all x1 x2 all are equals to 0 and if rank is less than number of unknown then the, it has a infinite number of it is it is called non-trivial or you can say it has an infinite number of solution or many solutions so this is one criteria now here also we can uh, use a determinant now for example 
if uh, we have a a matrix and a is a square matrix number of unknowns and number of variables are sorry number of unknown and number of equations are same in that case we can also make use of a determinant so what we will do if if in this case we can find out the determinant if determinant you are finding determinant and it is not equals to zero means you get some value over here this implies that a equation has trivial solution only trivial i would say only trivial solution has only trivial solution so they are only having a trivial solution now in case determinant comes out to be zero then it has the system has the same system the system has infinite solution or infinite solution means system has non trivial so trivial and non trivial means many trivial means only zero trivial means one answer and only one unique answer and that is 0 0 0 and when determinant comes out to be zero it has a many solution so this this is this technique you can use only in one case if the number of equations and number of variables are same for example if you get a as a 3 by 3 or 2 by 2 or 4 by 4 you can apply this but again here also whether you have a square matrix or you have a uh, rectangular matrix you can use this uh, technique so rank can be handled in both the cases but this technique can only be utilized in one case so this is also point is important i hope you all understood thank you